so here we are the heart rate is less than 100 okay we have already done the positive pressure ventilation still the heart rate is less than 100 and now we go for ET tube or laryngeal mask airway so here cardiac monitor is a must okay here we used to say it is considered cardiac monitor now it is a must as per NRP but it limited settings we can we can avoid means where it is not available then we go for the alternative um, alternative methods now endotracheal intubation when we do and when do we do endotracheal intubation endotracheal intubation is done when the heart rate is less than 100 despite 30 seconds of face mask positive pressure ventilation that inflates the lung or even with ventilatory corrective step, steps, okay? Or if the bag and mask ventilation is ineffective or prolonged, okay? Because here it uh, leads to exhaustion of the person provide, uh, care provider, okay? Then for any tracheal suction or any uh, obstruction or anything we do here with thick secretions, okay? Then for surfactant administration, okay? Again, what are the... Uh, for preterm babies, we may uh, anticipate uh, surfactant administration. There again, we do uh, intubation. Then, for a baby with suspected diaphragmatic hernia, see, we were talking about any suspected, I mean, intrauterine causes which lead, uh, which we are suspecting. So, again, if any uh, suspicion of uh, diaphragmatic hernia is there, then we do directly endotracheal intubation. We skip positive pressure ventilation. Positive pressure ventilation is not recommended in cases of congenital diaphragmatic hernia. Okay. We skip this positive pressure ventilation and directly go to endotracheal intubation. And whenever you are going to do chest compressions, you have to have achieved two things. One is secure airway that is through endotracheal tracheal intubation or laryngeal mask airway the second thing is 100 percent oxygen okay 100 percent oxygen not at room air or at 40 or 60 percent of oxygen fio2 should be 100 percent now again here again uh, the recommend the carbon dioxide detector and cardiac monitors or chest lead for accurate reading okay now these are the endotracheal tubes this is cuffed this is uncuffed tubes okay so what are the different uh, sizes so laryngoscope blades okay blades uh, i have shown you prior uh, for term it is uh, straight blades one preterm it is zero for extreme preterm is zero zero and for the easier easier to remember now the latest in rp says only three three et tubes to get to get to have three ET tubes. One is 2.5 size, one is three, and one is 2.5. So this is one less than one kg, 2.5. One to two kgs, it is three kgs. Or greater than two kgs, 3.5. So if you do not have any uh, ultrasonography or the uh, means have means you do not know uh, the weight of the baby then you can assess through gestation age less than 28 weeks it is 2.5 28 to 34 weeks it is 3 and greater than 34 weeks it is 3.5 now how how much what is the depth at which you intubate okay now this is through two two methods one is ntl nasotragal length nasotragal length means from the midline from the septum to the tragus okay you measure the uh, measure the distance between this with the tape inch tape and then add one add one to it that is the depth at which you have to secure the airway tip to lip see here it is tip to lip the tip from the tip to the lip that uh, the reading should be that okay or you can use the chart okay this is the chart provided by the nrp and you can assess, I mean, you can use the chart and where to uh, position the, uh, means position near the lip, okay, the reading near the lip. Okay. Now, uh, here I have posted a question actually. Uh, now, which 
which image do you think is correct way to pull lift the tongue out and expose the larynx a or b means a is you lift okay lift your hand okay completely and in b what the person is doing is he is moving at wrist okay the movement is at wrist okay so it is curve here it is curve okay the movement is at wrist but i'll answer the question here here itself the answer to this question is a this is the proper way to do you have to lift as a whole not twist the wrist okay you should not twist the wrist okay uh, this this position this is wrong because it will uh, lead to trauma okay now what are the indicators what are the indicators if the trachea means the tube is in trachea okay the two most primary indicators is one is carbon dioxide detector okay which you have already we have discussed prior uh, whether it changes from violet to yellow or the calorimetric one which directly shows in the monitor what is the reading okay the second one is increasing heart rate so these two are the primary methods okay primary methods of confirming endotracheal tube in insertion other other adjectives are audible or equal breath sounds in the axilla okay in the axilla symmetrical chest movement with each breath and there isn't any air leak from the mouth and decreased or absent airway over the stomach okay so you uh, simultaneously auscultate stomach also okay three things at a time one two axilla and one stomach now the carbon dioxide detector usually uh, turns uh, turns yellow or detects the carbon dioxide concentration after 8 to 10 breaths only means you have to provide 8 to 10 breaths or 8 to 10 positive pressure ventilation then only either the change in color or the electronic record will be recorded now uh, now where does it have means the carbon dioxide detector the calorimet calorimetric carbon dioxide detector where is it false negative means the tube is in trachea but there isn't any color change one is inadequate ventilating pressure means you are shallow breathing giving a shallow breath to the baby or the lungs are collapsed or if it is if the baby is having bilaterally pneumothorax or when the heart rate is very low or the low cardiac output what happens in this case is the blood flow is low so hence the carbon dioxide output is low okay to the lung is low okay or the endotracheal tube is obstructed either by meconium or by blood or by mucus or by secretions okay in either of these case the carbon dioxide never touches the filter paper and never turns turns the color to purple wherein there is means the uh, tube is not in trachea but the uh, uh, color is changed means false positive so this is defective device Be before the use the color is changed so this that is defective device or any of this either you have used epinephrine epinephrine into the trachea or the surfactant is given into the trachea or atropine atropine use or gastric secretion contamination okay in any of these conditions also it turns positive 